Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 77 in the series. Today we'll have our quiz on division. Division problem, simple division problems. These problems are, are, are of such nature that if you do come across in the exam, if you're preparing for any of these tests here, ACT, SAT, T is GMAT or GRE, regardless of whether, whether the given exam allows you to use the calculator or not, these division problems that we'll do are so simple that there is no reason why anybody should have to reach for the calculator. You should be able to do it by hand. And you will find that actually doing it by hand is actually faster than reaching for the calculator. Calculator is not going to speed up the process, it's going to actually take more time, it's going to slow you down. So let's, let's do a few of them. There are ten of them, very simple, very straightforward, we'll do a few at a time. As I put them on the blackboard, I want you to do them yourself first before, 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 you, before we do them together. Here's the first one, 1000 divided by 25, 1048 divided by 5, 987 divided by 3, 1010 divided by 4, 3306 divided by 3, 2191 divided by 7. Let's do six of these first and then we'll do four more. I want you to pause the video at this point. The reason I put them all together here, I want you to pause the video at this point, do them yourself by hand, and then once you have done them, continue the video and then compare your work against the work that you and I will do together in a few seconds time, as always. So let's begin. 1000, 1000, divided by 25, but don't write 1000 as 1000, write 1000 as 1000 times 10 over 25. <coughs> Makes the life easier. Divide top and bottom by 25, excuse me. <coughs> Divide top and bottom by 25, 25 goes away and 100 has 425. The answer is 40. Let's do the next one. 1000, 1048 divided by 5. Now, is this number divisible by 5? Is 1048 divisible by 5? The answer is no. In order for a number to be divisible by 5, it has to end, it must end in a 0 or a 5. 48, of course, does not end in a 0 or a 5. So even before we do our work, we should know that if we had a 45 here, that would have been okay. It would have been evenly divisible by 5. We don't have 45, we have 48. That tells us, even before we begin our process, that tells us that we're going to have a remainder of 3. We're going to have a remainder of 3, and that 3 has to be divided by 5. In other words, our final answer is going to have 3 fifths in it. Let's do it together. How many 5 does 1 have? 1 has no 5. The 1 goes and joins the 0, becomes 10. 10 has 2 5s. How many 5 does 4 have? 4 has no 5s. That 4 goes and joins the 8, becomes 48. How many 5 does 48 have? 48 has 9 5s. 9 5s are 45. 9 5s are 45. The remaining 3, we have a from after we take away 45 from the 48, we have a remaining 3. That remaining 3 has to be divided, divided by 5. There you go. That's our final answer. The final answer is 209 and 3 fifths. 209, 209 and 3 fifths, or if you like, 209.6. You should know your fifths. Let's do the next one. 900, 987 divided by, divided by 3. Before we do our work, are you able to tell whether or not 987 is divisible by 3? What do we know about the rules of division? We did learn our rules of division long time ago in the series. I don't know which day it was, but we learned our rules of division and we know now that when the, if the sum of the digits, if SUM sum of the digits, if the sum of the digits, 9 plus 8 plus 7, if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number itself is divisible by 3. That's the theory. In practice, that's the theory. In practice, we can get away. We, we can get away by visual inspection. 987. Of course, nine does not count because nine, of course, is divisible by three. Now we have to worry about eight plus seven, which is fifteen, and fifteen is divisible by three. So yes, this number is evenly divisible by three. Let's do it together. How many threes does nine have? Nine has three threes. How many threes does eight have? Eight has two threes. Two threes are six. The remaining two goes. The choice of seven becomes not. 20, remaining 2 goes and joins the 7 becomes 27 and 27 has 9. You see, it's evenly divisible by 3. The answer is 329 even. 
Let's do the next one. The next one is 1010 divided by 4. 1010 divided by 4. Is 1010 divisible by 4, evenly divisible by 4? The answer is no. How do we know if a number is divisible by 4? A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits of the numbers are divisible by 4. The last two digits of these numbers make a 10. 10 is not divisible by 4. 8 is divisible by 4. That tells us we're going to have a remainder of 2. We're going to have a remainder of 2, and that remainder of 2 has to be divided by 4, which means our final answer is going to be so whatever number, whole number here, 0.5, because 2 over 4 is half. Let's do it together. How many 4s does 1 have? 1 has no 4. The 1 goes and joins the 0. 1 goes and joins the 0, becomes 10. Becomes 10. How many 4s does 10 have? 10 has 2 4s. 2 fourths are 8. The remaining 2 goes, jo remaining two goes and joins this one becomes 21. Pay attention, okay? The remaining 2 goes and joins the one becomes 21. How many 4 does 21 have? 21 has 5 fourths. 5 fourths are 20. The remaining 1 goes and joins the 0 becomes a 10. How many 4s does 10 have? 10 has 2 fourths. We use the 8 out of 10, we have a remainder of 2, that 2 needs to be divided by 4, the final answer is 254 and 2 fourths, which is same as 250, or 252 rather, which is same as 252, we have to reduce it, and a half, or if you like, 252.5. Let's do the next one, we took care of this one, that one, we are up to here, but well, that's very easy actually. Of course, this number is divisible by 3. How do we know that this 3306 is divisible by 3? Because each, individual, because each individual digit is divisible by 3. So we don't have to worry about the sum of the digits here. Since each of the individual digits is divisible by 3, of course the number is going to be divisible by 3. It's very easy. 3 has 1 3, 3 has 1 3, 0 has no 3, 6 has 2 3. Follow. 3 has 1 3, 3 has 1 3, 0 has no 3, and 6 has 2 3. So that's it. 1102 is the, is the even number answer there. Finally, we have to do... 2191 divided by 7. Let's do it here. 2191 divisible by, divided by 7. Is this number actually divisible by 7? What's the rule? What's the rule to figure out if a given number is divisible by 7? We learned it in our divis division rule that in fact there is no rule for 7. 7 has no rule for division. If there is one, I'm not aware of it. We just have to simply manually do it out. Do you understand? We'll do it out manually and that's when we'll know if this number is evenly divisible by 7 or not. And if it's not, that's when we'll know at the end what the remainder is going to be. But by visual inspection, we cannot tell. Let's begin. How many 7 does 2 have? 2 has no 7s. That 2 goes and joins the 1 becomes 21. 21 has 3 7s. 21 has 3 7s. Make sure you should do your work like that. Don't cross out the 2 and the 1 separately. It's not 2 and the 1, it's 21. How many 7 does 9 have? 9 has 1 7. 9 has 1 7. The remaining 2 goals and joins the 1 becomes 21 and 21 has 3 7. What do you know? It, it is actually evenly divisible by 7. 313. In reality, of course, we should have been able to tell that this number is divisible by 3 because it is made up of 21 and 91. And 91 there. We know it's not a prime number. We learned it. 91 is not a prime number. 91 is divisible by 91 is divisible by 7. 91 is not a prime number. As we can see here, 91 is clearly divisible by 7. 9 has 1 7. The remaining two goes and joins the 1 becomes 21 and 21 has 3 7. In other words, 91 is the product of is the product of two prime numbers. People People, when they're, when they're looking for prime numbers, 91 is the most common mistake people make. They miss 91. They think that 91 is a prime number. 91 is not a prime number. Let's continue. Enough of the talk. Let's put four more. 6,424 divided by 2. 6,012 divided by 6, 1240 divided by 3, and 7014 divided by 7. These, actually, these four 
turn out to be very simple actually. These four turn out to be very simple. First one here, 6,424 divided by 2 is very simple because each of the individual unit, each because each of the individual digit is is an even number, is an even digit. So of course it's very easy. Six is going to have three twos, four is going to have two twos, two is going to have one two, and four is going to have two twos. The answer is 3,212. Let's do this one. 6,012 divided by 6, which is also a very simple process because 6 is divisible by 6 and 12 is divisible by 6. It's going to be a very simple process. How many 6 does 6 have? How many 6 does 6 have? 6 has 1 6. How many, six, how many 6 does 0 have? 0 has no 6. How many 6 does 1 have? 1 has no 6. That one goes and joins the 2 becomes 12 and 12 has 2 6. Of course it's 1002 because 6012, because 6012 is of course made up of 6012. And if you divide that by 6, we get a 1000. And if you divide that by 6, we get a 2. Of course the answer is going to be 1002. What else? By visual inspection, we should, be, we should have been able to tell. Sim by simple visual inspection, we should have been able to tell that 6012 should give us 1002. Because 6000 has 1000 sixes and 12 has two sixes. 1002. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. 1240. 1240 divided by 3. Is, is 1240 divisible by 3? Let's find out here, shall we? 1, 2, 4, 0. Is this number divisible by 3? Well, 1 plus 2 is 3, so of course these two digits are divisible by 3. We left with 4 plus 0. 4 is not divisible by 3. 4 is not divisible by 3, but 3 is divisible by 3. Which means we're going to have some remainder at the end. It's not going to be evenly divisible. We'll have a remainder of 1. Because we have a 4 here. Had, be, had this been 3, it would have been evenly divisible by 3. It's a 4. We will have a remainder of 1. In other words, the final answer is going to have 1 third in it. Let's do it together. How many 3's does 1 have? 1 has no 3's. The remaining one, where that one goes and joins the 2 becomes 12. 12 has 4 3's. 4 3's are 12. How many 3's does 4 have? 4 has 1 3. The remaining one goes and joins the 0 becomes 10. How many 3's does 10 have? 10 has 3 3's. 10 has 3 3's with the remainder of 1. That one needs to be divided by 3. So the final answer is 413 and 1 3rd. 413 and 1 3rd is the final answer. We were up to, where are we? 1240. Where are we? Where is 1240? We are up to here. Last one. And the last one, of course, is a very simple question. By visual inspection, we can tell, by visual inspection, we should be able to tell that 7014 should be divisible by 7 because 7000 is divisible by 7 and 14 is divisible by 7, just like before, just like the before scenario. Here we had a 6 and we had 6000 and 12 is 2 times 6, 14 is 2 times 7. So it's going to be the same answer. 1002 is going to be the answer. Because 7014, just like before, is simply made up of 7000 plus 14. And if you divide 7014 by 7, that is the same as 7000 divided by 7 and 14 divided by 7. We're going to have 1002 as our answer. Let's do it together. How many 7 does 7 have? 7 has 1 7. How many 7 does 0 have? 0 has no 7. How many 7 does 1 have? 1 has no 7. That 1 goes and joins the 4 becomes 14 and 14 has 2 7. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.